Lucy, what's going on? Did you know that Niles is dying? Well, we're all dying. How old are you exactly? 139. Dear God, he's practically dead. Oh boy, here come the waterworks. Well, DC Comics unlikely group of superheroes is back for season two of Doom Patrol. So Diane and Javan, how exciting is it to finally see the launch of season two just days away? It's so exciting. We put so much, <laughs> I feel like we, we always say like, we put so much into this uh, because we really did. <laughs> Uh, we got, we, we honestly did sometimes what seemed like the impossible in such little time. And it, it really is a testament to the cast and crew um, and, and everybody involved on the show, um, how, how dedicated they are to, to this work and to this craft. And so um, we're, we just, we're so thrilled that people get to see it and we actually get to relive, uh, hopefully with very little trauma, uh, what we went through on the show. <laughs> Well, Javan, what is really going to make season two more intriguing versus the first? Well, I think what makes it intriguing is the fact that you've already learned so much about the characters in season one. And so we waste no time getting straight into the story with new villains. We have, you know, new thoughts, new problems, new um, opportunities for these characters to explore this world. And um, it's just as weird, if not more weird, more wacky. Um, more wonderful than, than season one was uh, with an opportunity for us to kind of just dive straight in. And, and I, I'm really uh, you know, impressed with how quick we get going in season two and the fact that from the moment that you sit down in, in episode season two, episode one, you're on this roller coaster and you can't stop. You can't get off. You don't want to get off. And this is um, you know, an opportunity that uh, has you know, given itself and lent itself because season two is so wonderful. You know, I must just say, it has to probably be such an honor to be part of the DC Universe because this is such a, a beloved franchise that so many people, they crave more for, they can't get enough of it. Uh, so how is it like to be able to be part of something like this in your career? It really is an honor uh, to work with DC Universe and to be a part of this world that captivates uh, so many people from all walks of life um, and, and, and to be... Uh, accepted uh, into this world um, ha has just been so special. Um, and, and, and to bring it and to be part of this world in, in this way and a part of Doom Patrol, I don't think I would trade this world for, for any other one in, in the universe, really, in the DC universe. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I echo that. I think that um, it's, 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 it's a huge honor to be a part of the, the universe. And I think even for me specifically, being able to play such a, a, an iconic black superhero means a lot for, for me because there's, there's not many. So being chosen to represent one of them, if not, you know, the biggest, um, gives me uh, great joy and great gratitude um, for the opportunity and to be a part of something in which has such legacy and, you know, has had such legacy cemented and, and will do, you know, uh, a few and, and beyond. And so to be able to say, I played Cyborg, you know, is, is, is a dream come true. Diane and Javan, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. I'm definitely looking forward to checking out season two of Doom Patrol.